More than a dozen artists, many of whom have received the highest civilian honours in the country, are now facing eviction. As the government says, these houses were allotted to an artist for a particular point of time and they have been living here beyond the allotted time. We are outside the residence of Guru Mayadhar Raut, who's a Padma Shri awardee, who's an Odissi dancer, who is now over 92 years old. And as you can see here, in the course of an afternoon, the, his house has been placed outside on the road. The Padma Shri Award as well as the musical instruments are all on the road outside his residence. As artists question, is this really the way the classical, the, the cultural heritage of our country is to be treated? All of these artists are senior artists who were allotted these houses by the government but now before the high court the government has said that these houses need to be uh, evacuated these houses need to be opened emptied for government all allotment and these artists cannot stay here any longer they had also gone to the high court with their petition saying that they should be given adequate time to empty their houses to move somewhere else but today as we can see outside guru mayadhar rao's house the entire house is being cleared out by persons sent from the eviction office, from the estate office of the Indian government. Even as the family says, we do not have any alternate accommodation. We have not even been given adequate notice that this kind of eviction proceeding will be going on. The Delhi High Court in February and again in the first week of April had said that no further delays, no further time will be given. But is this really the way to treat a senior artist? Is this really the way India is going to be treating their cultural heritage by not giving any notice of eviction and simply moving all the belongings of an artist, including the Padma Shri Award, out on the road? With cameraman Riddle in Khelgaon, this is Anisha Mathur for India Today.